A traditional IRA, or individual retirement account, is a retirement account in which the money you invest is tax exempt until you withdraw it. Now that doesn't really come into this problem, but I mention it for your interest. The question asks though, if you deposit $100 each month into an IRA that earns 6% interest, how much will you have in the account after 20 years? Now this question is easier than the last one because we have a formula to do this, but the tricky part is getting the formula entered in the calculator properly and making sure we don't make simple mistakes. The formula is a little bit complicated, but it looks like this. That F, the future value, meaning the amount that the account holds at the end of the 20 years in question, is equal to P, and now P, rather than meaning a lump sum that we deposit today, in this formula, P represents the regular deposit amount. So in this case, P will be $100. And then times one plus R, R is the interest rate just as before. N is still the number of times per year that we make a deposit. So in this case, that'll be 12 because we're depositing each month or 12 times a year. And then raised to the power of NT minus one. And then all of this is divided by R over N again. So this problem is simple because we just take the formula and plug everything in but the complication is that the formula is just a little bit nastier than the formulas we've seen before. Uh, but the process works much the same as before. So I'll just start filling in all the pieces. P is 100. R in this case is 6% or 0 0.06. N is 12. T is 20 because we're doing this for 20 years. And then in the bottom, again, we fill in R and N. Now, in these examples especially, it's important to be careful using the calculator. What I like to do is start with the innermost parentheses in the numerator. So I start with the 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. You get that answer. Rather than trying to do all the steps all at once with lots of parentheses that it's easy to lose track of, I like to just do one step at a time. Then I raise this to the power of 12 times 20, or I could mentally multiply those two and just raise it to the power of 240. And then subtract one. So that number is everything in brackets in the numerator. So I multiply this now by 100, and the entire numerator is that number. Now I need to divide this by in parentheses, 0 0.06 divided by 12. So it's important to do your order of operations carefully, and starting with the innermost parentheses working out is a good way of doing that. The final answer you get is 46,204 and nine cents. And notice that I rounded off the pennies here, because when you're dealing with a retirement account, the amount is so large that a few pennies doesn't make much of a difference. So by depositing $100 each month, for 20 years, you'll have a total of $46,204 in the account at the end. We can go one step further and do one more quick calculation. If we're making 12 deposits a year for 20 years, that's 240 deposits. If each time we're depositing $100, that means we deposited a total of $24,000. So if you put in $24,000, and at the end, the account holds 46,200. The difference between those two, or $22,204, is the amount that you earned in interest. Notice that you earn almost as much in interest as you put in. And that's a feature of retirement accounts, that over the length of time that you're saving, the interest adds up very quickly.